This will be ready soon. So, uh, what's happened to Tony? Uh, he's come for a medical. Ah, uh, what's he think's wrong with him this time? Just being careful. I think what's happened to Max has freaked him out a bit, you know? That's it. Do you ever think about getting yourself checked out? What, me? Nah, I'm in me prime. Yeah, don't forget these. I found this leaflet lying around Tony's. Did you know you're supposed to examine yourself down there every three months? What, every three months? Well, like on the hour every hour. Yeah, tell me about it. I'm checking myself now, you weren't here. Hey, I'm second thoughts. Mind you, I was thinking about it. I should look after myself a bit more. Well, there's no worries here. My love can and gets regular service. Still, wouldn't hurt to let someone else take a look every once in a while. I'll forget you said that. How long was Max's dad out of the game after his heart attack? Well, he was running for there a couple of weeks after. I've not seen Max for a couple of weeks. I wonder how he's doing. Who knows? Have you not thought any more about going to see him? I might cheer him up. No, I can't say that I have. What are you doing, eh? Well, I do still co-own the place. How's Max? Good. Glad to hear. Tom's in the office. Why? Because the only way Max is going to get better is with plenty of rest and quiet. <laughs> You're a natural at this nursemaid routine, aren't you? I have my hidden depths. Actually, I can uh, picture you in uniform and stockings. I'll be sure to pass that on to my husband. His blood pressure's been a bit low. Last time I saw him opening the door nearly brought on a relapse. He's getting better every day. Good. Then tell him I hope to see him back here soon. I will. Right. Well, since you've got the account sorted and Tom's handling things in the office, I'll uh, restart the fridges. Hello? Max? Anyone home? I want to go home. I'm on the phone. You should pop round sometime. We can make a night of it. <laughs> I look forward to it. Bye. Tom! Look what mess you've made. Is there a problem? No, quite the opposite. I just secured us a new drink promotion for free. Great. Hey, Tom. What's Santa bringing for you this year? I don't know. Well, if you have any thoughts, you let me know because he's a personal friend of mine and he owes me a few favours, OK? I want to go home. Look, I haven't finished up here yet. I want to see Max. I told you he's sleeping. Yeah, well, he must be awake by now. Besides, it must be boring being stuck in bed all day. I've not seen him in ages. What's ages this morning? No, she won't let me into the bedroom. Max was having his wound redressed. Look, I wanted to talk to you about something. And what would that be? Well, Max is thinking about selling up. Is he now? Yeah, and he wondered if you were still interested. Definitely. Maybe I should go and see him now. Well, it's close to lunch. I don't think Max would appreciate you watching me spoon feed him. OK, well, whenever. But the sooner the better. Good. I'll keep in touch. See you, mate. All I asked you to do was sit there and stay out of the way, but you couldn't even do that, could you? You're hurting me! Stop whining! Ow! And when we get upstairs, no going up into the bedroom. I want to see Max. Well, you can't. The last thing he needs is a whining little boy. You got that? Is that Claire? Yeah, with Tom. I wonder where Max is then. What? Well, I called round at the flat before, but no one was home. Have a good sleep. Here, have some of this. Everyone sends their love. I told them you'll be up on your feet again in no time. How long have you been gone? Well, not long. Here, take your pills. Can you... Can you phone a doctor? Why? I don't think these pills are doing me any good. 
doctor said it would take time. I know it's hard, but we've got to be patient. You've got to trust me. You'll be better before you know it. I promise. Now, take your medicine. He's a good boy. Can you get some sleep?